I think with Trent Alexander-Arnold, it's quite important to praise him when he's doing good stuff as well because a lot of people just um, get on him straight away, you know, when he's getting skinned uh, down the right-hand side. But as you can see, and I've got some stats here on my phone, um, that since Trent moved into midfield, we can see his impact on the game as well, and I think that is a key word, impact on the game. Um, one of the stats anyway that has jumped out, so he's number one in these stats, and then I'll go into them, since he moved into midfield, so since the start of April, most assists in the Premier League, um, most passes in the opponent's half, so just gives you an idea of where he is appearing now on the pitch. Um, penalty area entries, I'm not sure if that's with the ball or, or that's actually him driving into the penalty area. If it's the latter, then you can see the kind of role that he does have in this team now. Um, possession won back first. That's the one that surprised me the most, and it's sort of what Liverpool have been crying out for in this season. That's why I think this is a just a, a stroke of genius from, from Klopp. Maybe... Who cares if it came because of him getting skinned, right? It doesn't matter. Sometimes players make moves in their careers for all sorts of reasons. Um, sometimes it is because of that, but it can be a blessing in disguise. Um, and touches overall on the pitch, he is top since he moved into to midfield. Um, and I think you can see in the in the clips, you know, he's just connecting things. And obviously, he's, when he gets into that right channel, similar to De Bruyne, his delivery is as good as De Bruyne. Um, and I think... Everyone knows what he can do now. So I think people have been trying to maybe trap him into the right back position so he can't get up as much um, or just try and hit that weakness, which is his defending. He can get better at it and he's had some good moments. But I think it is his positioning, really, or whether it's because he's, you know, spending so much time and energy getting up to the attacking end of the pitch that he somehow struggles to get back or maybe he's, you know, it's his fitness. You don't know. But there's, there's, no, um, there's no debate over his impact when he is in that midfield. Um, Liverpool are in great form at the minute. They've won the last five Premier League games now. So for me, there's not much debate over his midfield impact. And um, you can see how now suddenly they might not need to buy new uh, three new midfielders Liverpool because they might actually have to go and get a right back. Or they've got, uh, what's he called, Ramsey waiting in the wings, you know, just playing for the reserves at the minute. But he's someone they brought from uh, Aberdeen, was it? Very, very high potential. So maybe he'll get a look in next season. Um, it's uh, it's it's been a good move from Klopp. I think it's yeah, and 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 it's given him the confidence. I think to actually defend a little bit better. If you look at some of the clips, he's he is defending a little bit better. And Liverpool, since um, he started playing in midfield, you've got the Arsenal game, um, which was two two. That was the first game, um, 9th of April. Um, Leeds away six one. Liverpool at home to Forest three two. They went away to West Ham and won. They won that crazy game against Spurs um, 4-3. They beat Fulham 1-0 and then they beat Brentford 1-0. Those last couple of games, I think, will give Klopp the most confidence and assurance that they're on the right track because it's clean sheets, which is something Liverpool have not had in a while. Two home games, granted, against Fulham and Brentford, who maybe at the start of the season, you would have said, well, they should have been, they should be beating those teams at home anyway without conceding. Um, but as the season's you know, happened, we see that Fulham and Brentford are actually two uh, tricky teams to play against. Fulham, um, unfortunate with the Mitrovic incident, I think, um, because now they're missing him, aren't they, really? Um, and Brentford could have possibly scored. It was a very, very tight offside yesterday. And Ivan Tony. Just uh, as a footnote to this video, what a season he's had. Um, Ivan Tony has scored 20 goals. Um, only ahead of him is, is Harry Kane and obviously Haaland. So, um, yeah, end of that video on YouTube that I was watching. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think um, Trent Alexander-Arnold will continue in this position for the rest of his career? Um, if he's got players next to him that can really help as well in terms of defending and he's given that freedom in the right channel, it's that... All that you need to know about Trent is where you want him to be and appear on the pitch. And you want him in that right channel. You don't really want him at right back. You want him in that right-sided channel where he can just get a bit of space, look up, see Nunez, see whoever in the box, do a one-two with Salah as he's been linking up really well. And I think for Trent, his game to exceed and excel on the pitch, he needs that freedom. And playing him at right back, you don't always get that freedom. Maybe if some sort of system can appear where Liverpool play free at the back and have wing backs with Robertson and and, um, and Trent they don't really it's still it's still a four isn't it when they um, when Liverpool play if they can get another defender in that would allow that then that's another option as well for Trent to play as that right wing back that would be inverted anyway um, 
Robertson's a bit of a diff, bit more traditional in, in my eyes anyway. So that's Liverpool, that's Trent. Um, what do you think about the rest of their season? Man United have got to play a couple of games and Liverpool are actually, they're, they're doing all they can. They're chasing them down, they're winning games. Um, it would take a bit of a, a bottling from Man United. They've got West Ham away today, as I record this, so not the easiest of, of games in the world with West Ham just wanting to secure the the Premier League status and I think probably a win one more win would do it for West Ham and they, they'll want to do it before they start playing those Europa League games um, that is for sure they'll want to not have to worry about needing points in the Premier League um, I think as it as it comes to that Europa League game because it's just you, you just don't need that extra pressure do you um, let me know what you think then about Liverpool and Trent Alexander-Arnold what is his best position um, and you know if you can be bothered to type who should Liverpool sign this summer, who would you sign if you were Jurgen Klopp? Um, has his choices been narrowed down now because of this um, midfield role for Trent? He's playing so well. Does he does he cross off some of the midfielders that are on his shortlist now because he knows Trent can play there? And does he say to the scouting team, well, actually, go and find me um, a couple of right-backs to look at 